Hi there, I'm Hugo. I'm one of the co-founders of Quenza. I want to thank you for signing up. It means a lot to us here at Quenza and it means a lot to me personally. Because the fact that you signed up means that we are on a similar mission. A mission to improve the lives of our clients, to help them discover the capacity within themselves to solve their problems, reach their goals and grow into the best possible version of themselves. We are in the business of changing lives and this is exactly what we designed Quenza for, to help you do exactly that. If you have a minute or two, I would love to show you how you can use Quenza in your work with clients so that you can save loads of time and deliver better care to your clients. Let's dive in. The first menu item you see here in the left hand side is called Dashboard. On your personal dashboard, you can get a handy overview of everything that has happened between you and your clients. The notifications show you whether a client has accepted a connection request, completed a certain activity or whether the activity is overdue. If you're engaging with other practitioners in our in-app community, you will also get a notification when someone replies to your topic. The latest expansions show you the science-based activities and pathways that we have created at Quanza that you can add to your library with one click. Down below you will find the pending activities and pathways showing you exactly how your clients are engaging with what you've sent them. As you can see, activities and pathways have a certain status. They can be in progress, completed, overdue, cancelled, etc. That's it for the dashboard. Next up is clients. Here you can simply press the plus client button to invite a new client to start using Quenza with you. Note that your clients don't have to install the mobile app in order to complete the activities you send them, as they can also do so over email. The main reason we recommend to ask your clients to download the Quenza app is that your activities will not get lost in their infinite stream of emails, but you will stand out with push notifications on their smartphone instead, making your client more likely to engage. Let's move on to the Quenza Core, the Activities section. This is where you'll be spending most time in the beginning by building your custom activities that you want to send out to clients. You can create a new activity by pressing the Create Activity button, which will open the Activity Builder. For now, the most important thing that I want to share with you is that at the top of the Activity Builder, you will find a button that says, Show me how. Clicking this button will open up a video in which I will walk you through the Activity Builder, step by step. Yes, another video. I love making videos. But I promise you it will not take more than 5 minutes of your time. And it will show you exactly how you can use Quenza so that you don't have to click around and find out everything yourself through trial and error. Quenza was designed to be very simple and intuitive, but it's always good to know how and where to get started. So that's why I recommend checking out this video. Now let's move on to the next section of the app, the pathways. Pathways are a series of activities that you can send out to clients. It's advisable to create your activities first because you need them to start creating pathways. And guess what? To learn how to best use the Pathway Builder, I've again created another 5 minute video for you at the top of the Pathway Builder by clicking the Show Me How button. Moving on to expansions. Expansions are activities and pathways that we have built for you. You can take your time and browse around here and add the activities and pathways that you like to your own library by opening them and clicking the Add to my activities or Add to my pathways button. Over time, we're planning to add the most used and requested coaching and therapy tools here to the expansion section so that you have plenty of tools to choose from without having to build them yourself. The settings section is pretty self-explanatory. The only part I want to bring your attention to is the set up a pin section on our security. You have probably already set up a pin when you created your Quenza account. This is important because it allows you to use a four digit pin code to log into the app instead of your full username and password. For security reasons, we do require you to log in again after some time has passed or when you're switching devices. Your pin allows you to do that quickly and safely. Okay, we're almost there. The last part of the app is the support section. This is where you can find answers to questions, engage in the community with our team and other practitioners that are using Quenza, request a new feature that you would love for us to build or contact our support team directly. That's it. I hope this video gave you a good idea of how you can use the app. In order to get the most out of Quenza, I highly recommend checking out the videos that I created for you that explain how you can use the Pathway Builder and the Activity Builder. You can find them by pressing the Show Me How button at the top of the Activity and Pathway Builder. I wish you the best of luck with using Quenza and I hope it will change the way you work with clients. If you have any questions, please let me know in the community section of the app. I'm always happy to help. Take care. Bye.